Now, usually what we do in other softwares, like the mining packages, for example, like Serpac, Vulcan, uh, MineSide, Datamine, or whatever, or Micromine. So what we do is we create the geological model, and then uh, to just to use the uh, the wireframes of uh, a certain uh, formation as a domain for interpolation. So we know, for example, that the gold could only exist in this formation. So we are going to carry our interpolation inside this uh, formation or what they call domain. Um, and then what we use that to create what we call a block model that will be used for resource estimation and for pit optimization and stuff like that. Uh, maybe I'm digging into details. Some of you maybe are going to use this model for hydrogeology or whatever. So uh, if you're going to use this model for other things other than the mining, all you have to do now is to export this to like uh, an FAM model for like, for example, for fee flow or mod flow. And you can use that for your hydrogeology simulation. You can just uh, add some attributes like the permeability, for example, and different hydrogeology attributes to the different layer in here and carry on with your simulation. But if you are into the mining or uh, any other thing that uh, requires you to estimate uh, something like the tonnage in here or uh, the volume or something like that, that's why uh, we've imported the assay data for the gall to show you an example. So GeoModeler do doesn't use what we call a uh, block model, but it uses what we call uh, grids and meshes. So the first thing that we need to do, let's go and hide this uh, model, uh, first of all. And uh, the first thing that we need to do is, to, let's hide the drill hole too. Let's go and uh, click, uh, right click on this one and field compositing and field fields to data points mesh. So what we are going to do is see these uh, assay uh, samples that we have. We are going to turn these into what we call uh, data points for mesh. So we are going to use these points later on uh, to interpolate uh, uh, the values inside of them inside uh, the model that we have. So that's the first thing we are going to create. And as you can see that inside all of these drill, hole, uh, drill holes what we have, we have only one field that we've defined when we created the, uh, when we imported the assay data. So that's the AU, which is stands for gold and click on OK. And now you can see that there's a plus sign in here, which means that we have data. So this is the drill hole fields. And you can see that we have the AU and that's the, uh, the gold. Now, a good thing to do when we are doing uh, resource estimation, because we didn't do any compositing in here, uh, because that's advanced stuff, and we use other softwares to do this. So what we can do here is uh, to make these, uh, this estimation uh, good, we can normalize this, these values. So if you guys are familiar with mathematical operation, what is the function that we use to normalize data? Okay, I'll let you think about it for a moment while I do that. So uh, we go to here and go to compute a new field. So this is, you can consider this as some sort of a, a folder. Inside of it we have different uh, attributes. For example, now we have the, the values of the AU in here, which are actually what we derived from the uh, assay data. And now we are going to do some mathematical operation on these values in here. So uh, it's the, uh, it's the uh, log of the AU that's going to normalize the, uh, the data. That's the answer for that. So we go to here and create a new uh, field. And you can see we have some sort of a calculator in here. And we have all the attributes. We, in our case, we have only one, which is the AU. So what we can do is we do the LN of the AU, and that's our field. We are going to uh, uh, compute this one. We 
sorry I'm using my laptop that's not clear in there uh, but okay let's call this the uh, log AU okay and click on OK sorry there's a problem there computer new field and we are going to uh, go for log of AU and we close make sure to use the operators inside the calculator in here and not use the the one in your keyboard because sometimes that's going to give you error so let's go and create uh, click on OK and you can see that this one is new field but we can uh, yeah I'll leave it uh, as a new field uh, so that's the log of uh, AU and we can visualize that you can go to right click and field visualization manager and let's view these uh, 3D shapes in uh, 3D and click on OK and these are actually the uh, the fields that we have after we normalize them okay now what we can do is we are going to interpolate these and that's what we are going to do in the next video.